Hello everyone, welcome to Craft Apple. Today we're going to be coloring the I Love You Heart Wreath, which is a, a color your own card that's available from my Etsy shop, um, just in time for Valentine's Day. Um, so we are going to turn the camera down and we are just going to get started on this. I am going to use these Crazy Art colored pencils. These are just from the kids aisle. These are, this is a 72 pack, so there's lots of color variety in here. Lots of different um, tints, tones, and shades of every color. Um, and that's what you need to get a really good result. Now, if you have a 12 pack, you're still gonna get a reasonable result, but it's not gonna be as vibrant, maybe. Uh, you're not going to be able to achieve like a turquoise blue and like a normal blue and a dark blue and have them all look different. Uh, so if you're out and about, you wanna buy some colored pencils um, and you don't wanna break the bank, I recommend that you go to the kids aisle and uh, buy the biggest pack that your budget will allow so that you have the greatest variety of color because it will make your cards come to life. Alrighty, so to make this card, I'm gonna use um, some green and I'm gonna use some pink. And that's pretty much it. You can use whatever colors you want to, but in order to give you a starting place, those are the colors that I'm gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my camera around and uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, folks, I've got my camera turned around and we are just about ready to start coloring the I Love You Heart Wreath. Um, I'm going to use um, various shades of green on this and I think pink for the flowers and the little, um, little balls of little berries and frilly things and fluff and stuff. And uh, so I'm just going to take my green that I want to be my base color green and color that in everywhere. I'm going to use my little scratch paper over here so that I can find the green that I want. This is the one I just, I just tried out. That one's bluer than I like. That one looks quite blue. Oh, but it's not. I actually, I like this one. I like that one too. Those are very similar. Look at that. They look very similar. The, the paint on the outside looks very different, but on the inside they look very similar. Okay, here's a nice darker version of those. It's a little too blue. Something not quite right about that. Okay, and that one's quite blue, but it's blue in a good way. Hmm. Let's put it over there in the spot of stuff I've already looked at. Okay, this is a good one. Though, when I colored the other one the other day, it came out with more of this yellow. And uh, I really liked it. Actually, I liked this one. Which one was that one? That one was this one. Or was it this one? Pretty sure it was this one. Okay. So I picked out my two colors now. <laughs> and they almost look the same, you know, the paint part, but this one is significantly bluer and darker. Okay, so I'm just going to use this pencil to um, color in all of my leaves. Just quickly laying it out. These ones here, I think I'm going to treat as flowers, so I will get those with my pink later. But here I go, just laying in some, my, you know, my base green, not going crazy with it, just 
getting some some color in there if you are doing this at home and you don't want to do it the way that I'm doing it and you want to make say these oak shaped leaves different from these like broadleaf you know I don't know sword shaped leaves um, you're welcome to do that that probably end up being more interesting but I'm just uh, wanting to get you just on the road to you know experimenting and you know giving giving you something that is sure fire even if it's like maybe boring <laughs> can't tell if that's supposed to be a leaf back there or not. I guess we'll we'll pretend that it is. I wonder if that's supposed to be a flower right there or if it's supposed to be a leaf. It looks awfully round to be, for being just leaves. So maybe I'll color it pink and pretend it's more of a flower. You can probably tell that some of these I'm, I'm doing some like round strokes and some of these I'm coloring east-west and some of these I'm coloring north-south and uh, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, some folks are really adamant about oh you can only color east-west or oh you can only color north-south or you can only color in little circles. I just do whatever I do on little p bits and pieces that are this small and my strokes are so small it doesn't seem to really make much difference if you're making really big strokes over you know a larger surface area then it probably does make more difference but not too much for this today or maybe you're a person that you do notice it and it bothers you and you know you're welcome to do whatever you want to remedy that for yourself all right so there's just my base layer of green and um, this is gonna be my darkest dark but I think I'm just gonna use two so I'm gonna go in all of the places where there's other greenery coming up on top or from the center of the leaves. And I'm gonna blend out. And you can see that just those couple of strokes at the base of every leaf is making a huge difference. You might have been thinking when we first started laying in color that, oh my goodness, that's going to be so boring because she's only using one color of green. But even with just the one color of green, well, one color of green plus it's, you know, dark friends. It starts to come to life. I'm sorry if you can't see underneath my right hand. I'm right-handed. Not much I can do about it. But I'm basically getting the base of each leaf around where it's got other stuff tucked. And, you know, maybe up the veins here in the middle. Uh, any place that uh, a shadow might be more likely to hang out. All right, and when I'm done with that, I can go back in with my light green and, you know, continue to blend out and get rid of the, you know, the paper 
the white of the paper that's coming through the color anywhere there's paper coming through the color. And that's gonna kind of finish it up. So there you can see it really, really popping out. Sorry folks, I'm not very talkative today. I've got a, I've got a cold coming on, headache. Sinuses are giving me a little grief. Not runny nosed yet, just uh, thinking about it. My son had a drippy nose all day yesterday. That was exciting. He's three, so he's just, you know, anything that is handy is a great snot rag for him. So the end of his shirt, the pillows on the couch, blanket on the couch, the cover of the couch, my clothes, my skin. It seemed to stop dripping by the end of the day, but apparently he's happily passed it on. All right, so now it looks very kind of blended and alive, and if you still want it to go darker, you can go back in with your darker green and um, you kind of reinforce those darker areas Probably some of the leaves are going to want more of that or need more of that than others. You know, it's all a matter of what you want. So I'm just kind of going in there quick. And you can see that the ones that I've darkened up do look more dynamic again now. But maybe you like the more blended look of, of these over here where you can't really see the color differences. It just doesn't look too flat. But um, you do it how you want. I like it a little bit more like that. All right, so now we're gonna do the flowers. And uh, I said I was gonna do those pink. This magenta color. Yes, that's gonna be my dark pink. And this one's gonna be my light pink. Yep, I'm only gonna use two. So I'm just gonna take my pink and uh, color in Color and everything a base pink. Everything that's flower like. Some of these ones are just so small that you're not going to be able to get any any shadow in there really and have it look any different. Sorry, I just realized that I had Move the card out of your viewing area. Okay. 
going to go in with my darker pink. And on these bigger berries, I'm going to do like a, a half moon on the left side. So, kind of like this. Now you can tell that they, they now they look round compared to the other ones that just kind of looks like circles. Okay, so on the big ones, I'm going to do that because I have enough room to do that in there. The little ones are probably a lost cause. They're just too small to get to get much in. I can try. But it's not really going anywhere. Um, in these funny little heart-shaped leafy fluff balls, I'm I'm going to just kind of do a like a flare at the bottom. It's kind of like this. And for these round, these like four petaled flowers, I'm going to um, go around the center. Actually, I'll color the center in that darker color as well. And then I'm going to um, kind of make a the inner edge of the circle or at, at the middle point so that it looks like the flowers are coming, the petals of the flower are moving up from the center and and cupping out. And if I want to, I can also do a little bit around the, the edge. That's again gonna make it look very kind of poofy. So I'll do that all the way around. There you go. If you want to go back in there and blend those out, you can do that. I kind of like how these ones look. Well, it feels like they've lost too much of their edge now. So I'm going to go ahead back in there and, and darken them back up again. So basically that's it. Hope you enjoyed that project and good luck as you color your own.